Hello, my name is Frank Everett, and welcome once again to Frank's Files. I am in our exhibition of our June sale, and our spring season is rapidly coming to a close, and what a season it has been. We have seen exceptional prices in all of our sales around the world, but most notably in Geneva, where we have set a world record for any jewelry auction at $175 million. So all of this success really points to a very strong jewelry market, and it might mean it's a great time to think about selling. So I'd love to share with you just a few examples of why this season was so successful. Sign jewels continue to do well. People love the signature. Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, Harry Winston. In Hong Kong, we saw some exceptional pieces of mystery set jewels by Van Cleef & Arpels do very, very well. The iconic design of the mystery setting along with the Van Cleef & Arpels signature always adds up to success. Suzanne Belperone was a wonderful Parisian designer that had all but been forgotten until Sotheby's sold the Duchess of Windsor's collection in the 80s. Now she's one of the most sought after collectible signatures and of course there is no signature that holds its value like Cartier. These are some of the most collectible sought after pieces in auction and we saw a beautiful bow brooch from 1911 bring over $300,000. And one of my favorite pieces was a wonderful suite of jewels, again by Van Cleef & Arpels, from the estate of Dolores Sherwood Bossard. It was a magnificent 1960s suite of floral jewelry. What made this lot so interesting to buyers is that it not only came from a private estate, but it also came from one of the great houses of jewelry. As always, colored diamonds have performed very well this season. Our Geneva sale was led by the unique pink, but you might not have a huge pink diamond lying around. So, Let's look to another collection in New York from a private collector in Philadelphia that had a diamond that they didn't even know was blue. It turned out to be a fancy light blue diamond and went for $1.4 million against an estimate of three to 500,000. Amazing result. So in addition to the light blue diamond, the same collection from Philadelphia also had two exceptional colored gemstones, a Burmese ruby and a gorgeous cashmere sapphire that saw a tremendous result. As we wrap up the season and head into summer, I think you've seen we've had some great results at auction. So if you're doing some spring cleaning around the house or around the bank vault, check it out. You never know what you might have. That's the fun of auction.